Bye. Hello, Hope Kids. Thank you, Caroline and Veronica, for blessing us with your encouragement and creativity. Before I begin today's message, I have a special surprise from Miss Debbie. Hi, Hope Kids. It's Miss Debbie. I just wanted to say that I miss you guys so much and I miss seeing all of you guys on Sunday. Um, I hope that you guys are all doing well and just know that all of your teachers are praying for you. I know that during this time it might seem a little scary, but um, what a joy it is to know that we serve a God who is in control of all things. Um, he's going to make everything right in his time, and so we just need to continue praying to him. Um, we love you and we miss you, and um, hopefully we'll get to see each other soon. But just wanted to say that I'm sending you my love. I have the best news ever! God can save anyone, and he has the power to save people from sin. Even people that others might think that are impossible to change. God can save them from their sins. Say it with me. God can save anyone. Today's message comes from Acts chapter 9 verses 1 through 22. And it is the story of Saul and Ananias. Saul was a Pharisee who believed in God, but didn't believe in Jesus. He didn't believe that Jesus is actually God's son and he's part of the Trinity and that Jesus is the Messiah God had promised to send. He didn't think that Jesus actually rose again from the dead. So what Saul did was he persecuted the Christians who did believe in Jesus. Saul arrested and put in prison all the believers of Jesus. That must have been so frightening for the Christians during that time. Sometimes we do things our own way, thinking we are also pleasing God. For example, you find out that a friend in your class never has a snack. So you bring him an extra snack from your house, but you don't tell your mom or dad about it because if you ask them, you might think they'll say no. And it's okay, right? Because you're helping out a friend and you're sharing. Wouldn't that be a good thing? Well, if your mom doesn't know, you're tricking her. And sin can be tricky. The punishment for sin is to be separated from God forever. The Bible says we are all sinners who fool ourselves into thinking we are not that bad. But you go against God every time you sin. But there is good news. In Romans chapter 5, verse 8, it tells us, But God shows his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So Saul decided to go to a city called Damascus to arrest more Christians. He said, oh, I need to put a stop to them. On his way, a dazzling light, brighter than the sun, appeared suddenly in the sky. Saul fell to the ground and he heard a voice call out to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Guess whose voice it was? It was Jesus. By hurting Christians, Saul was actually hurting Jesus. God sent, God wanted Saul to believe that Jesus really is the one God had promised to send and that he is the Messiah. God can save anyone. When the bright light disappeared, Saul slowly got up and he tried to look around, but he couldn't see anything. He went blind. Saul's friends led him to the home of a man named Judas. For three days, Saul sat without, in the house without eating or drinking. Saul prayed and waited. While he was praying, the Lord showed Saul a vision. In the vision, a man, Saul saw a man named Ananias come to him and help him. In another part of the city, God was speaking to Ananias who was a believer in Jesus. What did God tell Ananias? Will God forgive and save Saul? Will Saul be able to see again? To find out the rest of the story, 
read Acts chapter 9 verses 1 through 22 and check out the videos and the resources on the Hope Church website. As you read the rest of the story and watch the video this week, you will come to find out that sometimes it's hard to follow God's direction. During that time, always remember, you can pray to the Holy Spirit to help you and to give you strength and the courage to follow God's directions. Because sometimes it can be really hard and you might want to do it your own way. Also, remember, God can save anyone. When, even when you sin or do something terrible or bad, if you ask God for forgiveness, He will forgive because He loves us so much. Will you pray with me right now? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your truth and your word, and we thank you that you are the mighty King who has the power to save anyone from their sins. God, we ask for your, um, your guidance and your wisdom, and Lord, continue to protect us this week. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen.